Ah, uh, you boys are both a peach. A let fun of Estes, and welcome to the kitchen. We have got a peachy surprise. In fact, everything is just peachy today. Absolutely peachy, Graham. It's a beautiful summer fruit here in South Africa. The market has been flooded with these yeah. beautiful, scrumptious peaches. But uh, as we were talking off camera now, I've been struggling to get my peaches to ripen. So we're going to get a bit of an education now yes. in the varieties that are available uh, yeah. to us, but also how to store them, yes. how to ripen them. So let's start at the beginning. We've, it looks like we've got a bit of a nectarine peach mix going Yes, here. we mm. do. Okay, so. I mean, first of all, they're lovely and vibrant and you see them absolutely everywhere. And they're all part of the stone fruit family and they are like readily available at the height of summer. So it's so now you'll find they're all your yeah. different varieties all so around. It's on trend right it's now. It's very on trend, okay? Um, and it's also such a versatile fruit to cook with. So you can, mm. it's, it's, it's great for eating as is, for cooking, for baking. So I mean, you can do a lot of things with them. So just to, to let you know what we've got here, um, you know, this is a very well-known one, like the, the standard clean. Cling peach, okay? Cling peach. Cling peach. So it's got the yellow flesh and the yellow, um, the yellow skin and the yellow flesh. That's why right? they're so close together. They're exactly. Clinging to each other. Exactly. So they cling. All right. Separation anxiety. And this is mm. what we call the dessert peach. So this has got the nice little pinkish, reddish um, mm. skin, and then it's got the yellow flesh on the inside. And also, you can see that the pip is nice and pink. Okay. Yeah. Flavor wise. Flavor wise, um, I would say this is better for actually. That's why we call it the, the dessert, dessert peach. peach. A lot so more it's, sugar. It's, yeah. It's very sweet, um, and it's great to bake with. That's what we're going to be doing a little bit later. And then we've got the nectarine here. So this doesn't have like the, the, like the hairy mm. little um, skin on it. So it's, it's smooth. It's going cheese corp. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and then, so this is our standard nectarine and this is a white nectarine. So look at that lovely white, white flesh. flesh, okay? Mm. This is also super juicy and sweet. It's fantastic to, um, to you, put you in can, salads. You can almost picture that with like the griddle marks on exactly, it. Exactly, yeah, with nice parma beautiful. ham and rocket, Ooh, off you yeah. go. Slow so down. that, that Slow makes down for a bit. lovely <laughs> salad. Um, and then just to give you a quick idea, people always ask me, look, how do we ripen these? Mm. Um, and the immediate thought is refrigerated, and it's not. So the best thing is if you buy your peach or your nectarine, look at the color and feel it. If it's very firm still and it's got a good color already, Keep it outside, room temperature, in a ripening bowl. Okay. They normally take about three to four days to ripen, and they are ripe when you when you press um, on the skin, and it's, it just gives a little bit. Okay. Then it's fine, and then refrigerate. Okay. okay? Just to protect yes, it. Yes, otherwise yeah. you'll have fruit flies everywhere as soon sure. as they start ripening because they are so sweet. They do attract some fruit flies. And then also, the best way to eat these is to then take it out of the fridge and get it back to room temperature. temperature. Okay. Just to get all those juices flowing. So that's, that's the way to eat it then again. And then also some recipes call for peeled peaches, mm. okay? And it's a mission to peel them if they, <laughs> yeah. if they come right straight out of the fridge. Yeah. So you boil a pot of water and you've got a pot of um, iced water next to it. So what you do is you dunk them in boiling water 30 seconds, take them straight out, plunge it into the ice water, take it out and you, the, the skin will literally peel off. You jumps can, out of its it, own it skin. Jumps out Give of it a its shock skin. in the morning. Exactly. So oh, delicious, man. Well, this is this is fantastic. And as we were saying, these really are in season at the moment. Yes. We'd love to know from you at home what your favorite peachy recipes are. You can post them on our Facebook page. Might even feature it on the show. We're going to give you an example of a delicious recipe using peaches after the ad break. We're going to get nice and sticky. It is a just peachy day here on Expresso. Don't go too far. You have just enough time to recharge your coffee cup. We'll see you in a sec. It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to your feel good breakfast show. Cooking up a very feel good breakfast this morning. And you know that um, we have carte blanche for our breakfast here at Expresso. Yeah. Um, the more indulgent, the better. We are just peachy today. We've been looking at some of the varietals that are available um, in abundance here in South Africa, one of our favorite summer fruits. We were asking you at home to send us some of your, um, your favorite recipes using peaches. Put them on our Facebook page. We might feature them, but we're going to inspire you this morning with peach crisp that yes. I, I'm sorry I really had a taste. I'm yeah, sorry, I couldn't okay. resist. It's it just so delicious. I yeah. know, I know. So I, I know. can't wait to find out how to make it. Okay. Um, where do we begin? Okay, cool. So a peach crisp in essence is a lovely juicy layer of the fruit at the bottom with like a nice crispy crumbly topping okay so it's also some people call it a cobbler you but there's lots of ways to 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 um, actually call it so we are saying it's a peach crisp today so we can make the topping nice and crispy and then we're going to be serving it with some nougat ice cream oh, pick and play oh, finest ranch insanely amazing slow down man yes Come i know on. okay so we are going to be using our dessert peaches that we spoke mm -hmm. about a minute ago so these are the really nice sweet ones okay and they're nice and ripe so you would need to basically halve your peaches and then 
cut some nice wedges almost, cool. okay? So all of them into a big bowl and you can, you can make as much as you want. I mean, this will feed the family easily. Then what you can do for us, I'm going to put it all in. You can stir. I'll, I'll stir. Sugar. I do Just, a lot of stirring on this show. Can, it's kind of my role, actually. A you know? <laughs> little bit of flour. Now the flour, oh. okay, will react with the sugar and it'll make like a nice little syrup, like a little sauce. Oh, wow. All right. And then always some cinnamon. Aha. So now, Graham, Our if you will. Ingredient. Cool. Please just mix that through for us. So then once that's mixed through, you put it straight into your oven dish or tray, whatever we would like to call it. And then we drizzle that with some gorgeous honey, okay? Wow. So now you see what's mm. happening. The flour and the sugar and the cinnamon is yes. coating the, the, the dessert peaches. And that's going to make a nice, and you'll see later, it's got a nice, nice thick little syrupy it sauce It also gives going. us a uniform flavour throughout exactly, the dish. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, you, you don't have to be a brain surgeon this morning. Uh, the key word is peach. If you would like this <laughs> ingredients list sent directly to your phone, just SMS the word peach to 33728. That's good. How's you that can looking? Just, can you I... can put it straight in there. Okay, I'm actually... Whoa, whoa, oh, no, don't whoa. worry about it. Just <laughs> pour the it. more the sugar, the better. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Okay. There we go. So that is... Pop this out of the way there. Peach is done. And now what we do? Start the drizzling. Drizzling some lovely honey over it. I suppose this is great if you've got peaches that are a little out of time. So they yes. might be a little overripe or Absolutely. a little underripe. This is the Obviously, best. This, is, this is a way to This is the way to yeah. use them. Absolutely. So there in goes our honey. And now we're going to get... It's quite artistic, your drizzle yes, there. Yes, That's yes, yes. Good, yeah. Absolutely. So now what we've got here, so this is the topping that we're going to be doing, all right? Our crisp. We've got mm. our crisp. So this is some crushed... Um, ginger biscuits, ginger nut biscuits. Okay, so we're adding a lot of flavor to this. Okay, so straight into this is, this is a, a comfort bowl. meal, actually. This is it involving is. about five different comfort foods all thrown into one. Absolutely beautiful. So we've got our biscuit, um, crushed biscuits, uh, more flour, more flour, and then brown sugar. Okay, so this is going to give you that lovely caramel. Mm, we're using our real caramelized feel. sugar there, there thick treacly sugar. And yeah. then just mm. for the healthy ones out there, we'll be adding a little bit of rolled oats, just, just like a, a like pinch. just a <laughs> pinch of rolled oats, like as a sideline, okay? And then I'm going to ask you to mm -hmm. get your fingers dirty. Uh -huh. Now I've got some softened butter, okay? So mm -hmm. this we're going to be putting in there, and then what I need you to do is just work it with, a f with your fingertips, Graham. Okay. okay? So I'm not this like, is, this I'm is not, a, this I'm is not, a girly not getting motion, second. okay? This is fingertips. Just lightening myself on exactly. my feet. Exactly, lightening right, yourself. Right, I'm ready, okay. So you work it in until all the butter is basically incorporated. So it's a, it's a it's, mini Thai massage for your Exactly, Thai yeah, massage for your crisp, all right? <laughs> you might not be able to get through all of that with our time that we've got yeah. left. But okay. so what you do once that is on top, okay? So okay. then you, you basically just sprinkle, it all, sprinkle over. it all over. You put it into a hot oven, like I would say about a 180 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes. Okay. And then you get some lovely color, like this one we've got here, okay? So it's crispy oh, wow. and gorgeous. And then all the juices from your peaches with that sugar and with the cinnamon and everything will draw a nice thick sauce okay oh, that's delicious so i mean let's Looks see how you're going there. That's, that's good that's is good it, is that good yeah? it's good you can you can keep going we've got a little bit of time so we can just show them what the end result will be so it's kind of like a coarse coarse crumb that you're looking for sure okay it's not it's not a wet mixture by it's not means. a wet yeah, mixture cool. no not at all so then once this gorgeous dessert is out of the oven or breakfast for that matter <laughs> <laughs> we will serve it you can serve it with um lovely thick custard or some um vanilla ice cream and in our case today we'll be serving it with nougat ice cream okay i'm gonna once you have your my clean hands basically you just wanted me to get really dirty there i think yes, was, absolutely. was your, your main goal it was, it was definitely the goal so now this is what you do you add your crisp to your peaches now this oh. is most probably the easiest dessert that you'll yeah. ever make is and it, it just not? looks so beautiful it's like a real country house kind of vibe yeah, I've, I know, I've, and it's such a I've dirty this entire kitchen it's okay that's okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, but it's well worth it when, you, when you're when coming up with a, a delicious result like this. Definitely. Let's let's do a little bit of a recap now of all of okay. the ingredients that all went right. into our lovely peach crisp yam. Okay, dessert peaches. Okay, let's have a look. Stir together the sugar, flour and cinnamon. Then add the sliced peaches and toss together. Place into a baking dish and drizzle with honey. Stir together the crushed biscuits Demerara sugar, flour, oats and cinnamon, then rub in the butter. Sprinkle the mixture over the peaches, then bake at 190 degrees until golden brown. 
Okay, so you have all the ingredients and here is the end result. We've put our, our luxurious nougat ice cream with it. It looks absolutely beautiful. That is mine. The crew can have the rest of that or they can pick up the crumbs. Now, I'm up for a bit of an adventure, but I mean, you get adventures and then you get almost impossible tasks. We're about to embark on one of the greatest journeys ever. In fact, Ewan is there to set the scene. What's cooking, lad? It's at the All Seasons Milk Factory where we found goodness produced on a daily basis. Pick and pay, always there for you. 